So are you looking for the newest technology in contact lenses? Well, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Transitions contact lenses, including how they work, the powers they come in, and the price. So let's take a look. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dr. Joe Allen here from Dr. Eye Health. The channel helps you with the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. And on this channel, you'll find a lot of different educational videos as well as product reviews just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point throughout the video, if you wanna check out any of the links to these lenses or any of the other lenses that I like to use, you can check those out in the YouTube description below. Otherwise, let's jump into the review. So I've been a contact lens wearer for over 18 years, and I personally have been fitting both soft and specialty contact lenses in the clinic for over six years. But I'm not just excited because we have a new contact lens, but this new lens also addresses my light sensitivity. I mean, come on, blue-eyed people, you know how I feel. In fact, comment in the section below if you were occasionally bothered by bright lights. Otherwise, let's actually go over some of the features of this new lens. So these lenses have been in production for over 10 years, but we finally have the transitions technology in the AccuView Oasis lens. Now AccuView Oasis remains one of the most popular lenses throughout the entire world, even though it's been out for a long time. These lenses do have a 14 millimeter diameter, and they come in both base curves of 8.4 and 8.8. .8. That means they fit people with really steep corneas and people with really flat corneas. Again, making this lens excellent for most people. And the powers that these lenses come in go from anyone with a far-sighted prescription of a plus eight all the way down to a near-sighted prescription of minus 12. That is a huge range and again fits most people. Unfortunately, these lenses are not coming out at the timing of this video in astigmatism correction. So if you have astigmatism, unfortunately, you may have to wait a couple of years. However, if you do have a mild amount of astigmatism, make sure to talk with your eye doctor because there's a possibility you could still wear these lenses lenses, you may just have to give up a little bit of your visual clarity. Now, because these lenses are based on the same standard AccuView Oasis design, that means they are a two-week replacement, and you're going to have to take them out at nighttime to go ahead and clean them to prevent infection. But I, of course, recommend using some type of solution that matches the brand of the contact lenses that you're using. However, be sure to always follow your doctor's recommendations. But go ahead and comment in the section below. Let me know what contact lens solution you prefer. I'd love to hear what you like. Now, because these lenses are even a little bit gray, even indoors, you can actually see the lenses a little bit easier when they're in the contact lens case in their solution. Now, these lenses actually change color and activate when exposed to UV light. So basically, you walk outside and the sunlight causes these little crystals within the lenses to change shape, and that's what causes it to darken. Another advantage is that these lenses do actually block 99% of UVA and UVB sunlight. So yeah, you do get some protection. Now this lens actually looks a little bit darker right here because it's actually not touching my eye. They're actually regulated by the body temperature of your eyeball. So when you're indoors, they actually stay about 15% opaque. And then when you go outdoors in the sunlight, they actually stay at 70% blocking. Now, honestly, my first experiences wearing these lens, I really didn't notice a huge difference. I find when you actually do have them on and you step outside, the transition to the darker opaqueness of the lens is pretty subtle. Other people may notice it more on your eyes, more than you will actually notice the different kind of color change. It's not like just directly putting on a pair of sunglasses. However, after wearing them for a couple of weeks, I actually did begin to notice some of the extra benefits of having the darker lenses. One of the biggest advantages I had was actually when I was outside running. When I was going for a run on the weekend, it was fantastic. I really didn't have to find myself squinting or really holding my brow shut, and it just made my entire run a lot more enjoyable. So I think for these lenses, it's going to have a huge place in sporting activities, whether you're playing some sort of a sport like golf where you could wear sunglasses, or it could be something more like football or baseball where, yeah, sometimes wearing lenses or glasses just is not an option. And yeah, maybe the lenses do make your eyes look a little bit different, being that they actually change from, you know, a lighter color to a dark color. Maybe that'll scare some people, but I honestly think it looks pretty awesome. I know when I was in high school, I was in like theater and stuff like that. I would have loved wearing these all the time. In addition, again, if you're on like a sports team or something like that, maybe you like looking a little bit scary and aggressive, so it might actually help a little bit for intimidation factor. 
Another thing that I know a lot of people have trouble with regular transitions classes is that the lenses take a long time to turn back to clear when you head indoors. Now, the actual published literature will say that these lenses take about 60 seconds to reach 70% of their full blocking potential when you step outside into UV light. And then it takes less than 90 seconds to turn back to their 15% clear when they're not exposed to any UV light. Now, before I had a previous video where I unboxed these, I was actually standing pretty close to a window with ambient sunlight. So I might have actually been still exposed to some UV light and that's why it took longer to turn back to clear. Thank you, my viewers, for bringing that up. But again, I know that big concern that regular transition glasses actually take too long to turn clear again when you're heading indoors, and that bothers some people. These contact lenses, because they don't get super dark when you're heading outside, your vision isn't so severely affected when heading indoors. Honestly, I had no trouble seeing my best heading indoors at any time throughout my experience. Now, another interesting experience is how they perform at nighttime. I know some of the literature will say that they actually help people reduce some glare off of headlights and things like that because they actually have that regular 15% kind of opaqueness even when not activated. Now, I tried that a couple of times, both with regular lenses in one eye and a contact lens of transitions in the other, kind of switching back and forth, but I honestly had a hard time really appreciating it myself. But hey, if if you've already tried these lenses and maybe you've noticed that, go ahead and comment in the section below as well. Let us know if you've noticed those type of benefits. Now the cost of these lenses is gonna depend, of course, on how many lenses you choose to purchase. Now if you're buying a year supply for both eyes, it's gonna come out somewhere between $350 and $400 US. However, you can of course shop around, check out some of the links I've included below. Also, I encourage you to check with your insurance carrier because they often do have this type of vision benefits or check with your eye care provider because we often have different manufacturer rebates that you can't use online and can save you even more money. Now my final impressions of these lenses is actually pretty good, right? I mean, they're comfortable lens, they actually help reduce your sensitivity to bright light, and they're made with the same transitions technology as the transitions glasses. Meaning that even if the lens breaks or tears, it's not gonna leak out of the lens and into your eye. And I think it's great that they block UV light. I mean, you're actually protecting your eyes from the UV sunlight damage. However, keep in mind that the UV light blockage is just on the contact lens. That means that the white part of your eye and the thin skin around your eyes is still jeopardy of UV light damage. So it's best to wear some type of high quality UV protecting sunglasses. So question of the day, what contact lenses are you wearing? And if there was a new contact lens coming out, what type of cool new features would you like to see? Go ahead and comment in the section below. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and share this video with any friends or family that you think would be interested. Also, if you'd like to catch other cool videos from Dr. Eye Health, just click or tap the screen up here to the side, or go ahead and click or tap the screen down over here. Otherwise, again, this is Dr. Joe Allen here from Dr. Eye Health. The channel helps you with the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. Keep an eye on it. We'll talk to you soon.